thanks for joining me. Welcome. Hey, everybody. We are back with part two of the Cricut Mug Press. So in this portion, we are going to be covering if you are able to supplement on non-Cricut brand supplemented blanks or supplementation blanks. So we're going to do like we always do and just jump right into it. So if you are just now tuning in and haven't seen the first video that I did on the Cricut Mug Press, just breaking everything down, the prices, uh, measurements, how everything works and stuff, please go ahead and refer to that. I'll leave that in the description uh, box below. And that one, we went ahead and made this beauty right here. And we went over it. And this was with the Cricut brand. It's going to show backwards for you guys because I have to have it facing me so I can be sure to make sure I got everything within frame. Um, and so this design and everything that we did to achieve this is in the first video. So what we're going to do now is this is a 10 ounce mug uh, that I got from one of my vendors. And we're going to go ahead and just put this bad boy in and start to sublimate it. And we're going to see if it holds just as well as the um, Cricut brand. So, as always, I'm just going to go ahead and start that press. Got it in there. Perfect. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and start to do its countdown. Right here, you see that it is blinking and it is on the first dot. Uh, we're going to have four dots in total after that to go. Once that's done, it'll beep. We'll go ahead and remove this cup, let it cool down, um, and then we'll take everything off. And then we're going to go ahead and start to press our second mug. Now, as far as our second mug, it is going to be a frosted glass mug. Okay, and so we're going to see how that holds up as well. And it is a non Cricut brand mug. Now, I do want to let you guys know I made a small mistake. When I printed out the images for these two cups, um, I used the dimensions for the 15 ounce. So just bear with me if they come out a little overlapped or the picture is too high up, just be aware that is the reason why. But just like in this video for this mug, I will have the dimensions listed for the 10 ounce mugs, the 12 ounce mugs uh, for you guys. So you do not have to pay for a template, okay? I'm a firm believer if I can give the information to you guys for free and find it, I'm gonna give it to you guys. So any images, images that you see, oh, can't talk, those will also be listed in the description box below as well. So what I also want to go ahead and note with you guys is if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Do please hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a brand new video. And for those of you who are not uh, subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do the same thing. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I do upload. What I also like to do is have you guys go over to the community tab on my page. And I have tons of different polls that I post for you guys to vote on as far as what I should be doing next for you guys. So I would love that participation and engagement because it allows me to provide the videos and content that you guys want to see. Now, the last video that we're going to do in this series is going to be supplementing on tumblers or taller skinnier um items in this to see if we can do a hack or anything like that so we're gonna do that in the third video and we're gonna go over all of that and i'll have all the dimensions and everything listed as well for you guys so i think i have touched bases on everything we're on the third light and we're doing the countdown. So what I will do is go ahead and shut the camera off. And once it comes back down, I'll load up the other one, uh, have a quick rundown with you guys, and then we'll reveal everything. Okay, great. Okay, we are now on the fourth light as it is blinking. But I wanted to come in and tell you guys, I am so excited to see how this particular frosting mug turns out. Because unlike the other ones, you can't see the sublimation process um you just kind of see once you take it out whether or not the the paper has turned um to know if the image has um got on there but this one i'm actually able to look inside this area 
and see the image get darker and darker as it's actually sublimating onto the glass mug. And the best part is when you look in there, you can see how it's going to line up on the handle and everything. So just working with the glass or see-through blanks um, in this press is is awesome because you're actually able to just see everything as it's happening. And there we go. So we are going to go ahead. Oh, it's cool. It's cool to the touch. All right. That is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Now be um, advised that it does have a, a shut off. It'll start to beep at you um, for maybe about two minutes to, hey, cut me off, cut me off. Uh, if you don't, it does have an auto shut, and so it will shut itself off. So that is also um, something that I did not mention in the first video to you guys. So just be aware that that is a huge um, bonus. So this is the first one that we pressed, and it is still very much um, warm or hot to the touch. So just be advised that even doing a whole nother mug, this one is still pretty hot. So let's go ahead and see. So again, I'm really trying to do dark images so that way you guys can get the full effect of how it's going to look, how it presses, the sublimation. Now remember I said I overdid it. Um, because of the, the measurements. So don't pay attention to this because just like in the first one, when you get the measurements perfect, it's a sharp line. And I'll just show you that again in case you didn't watch the first one. So when you get the measurements correct, it'll be a smooth straight line, no ghosting or anything like it happened with this. So right up here at the top, you can see that as well because the image was, was wider. Um, but this is the bottom. There are no white areas there are no ghosting it's beautiful um and guess what i did you guys i put the image on the wrong way so this is supposed to say hogsworth from harry potter but it's supposed to be up here at the top so the whole thing is just upside down um yeah so do make sure that when you are putting <laughs> or wrapping your mugs, you guys make sure to put the image facing not only in the right direction, but also mirrored. Keep in mind, this is actually mirrored. It's just the way that I have the camera angle that's going to show it in reverse. But um, I'll take some pictures and leave that at the end. But other than that, this one sublimated beautifully. I love how the colors turned out on this. Um, it would have been even more perfect if I would have made sure to do it the correct way but nonetheless it's still a beauty i'll use it and keep it and just laugh at it so yes so now we're going to go ahead and do the reveal for the frosted mug and this one i did put on correctly um so yay okay and let's go ahead and remove all the tape so for this one i went ahead and should have done it with that one Pressed everything down um, because, like I said, I made the mistake of not doing the correct measurements on this one. I just used the 15-ounce mug size for that. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see. And this one is very hot. Oh, I like that. Okay. So, as you can see, like I said, it's frosted. And that is how the frosted mug is going to look. Now, the crazy thing is, it's nice, but the colors look better on the inside. I don't know if I can get, there we go. On the inside of the mug. And that's different. It kind of reminds me of vinyl when you have to print on a 651 or 631 oracle when you press on the opposite side the color is more vibrant but yeah so this is how it looks but again like i said it's a frosted mug so it just may be that sort of look that it's gonna have regardless because it's frosted so i i get it um i don't too much like it or care for it um but it, it works so i guess it's all your own personal preference um on that and as you can see 
It has a nice line that goes all the way down. Um, and then for stuff like this, I usually use Goo, Goo Gone or Gooby Gone. If you have a Dollar Tree, they sell them like two packs for 99 cents. And I just kind of spray it and wipe all of that excess tape residue off and everything. But for the most part, this is the frosted mug. And we've achieved to answer the question what, as far as what we wanted to know, can you supplement on non-cricket uh, substrates? And you can, and they're going to turn out to be just as nice as the Cricut brand um, blank mugs compared to if you buy one from a wholesale vendor um, or anything. And what I will do for you guys is in the description box below, I'm going to leave a list of U.S.-based vendors, okay? Because I did leave my Alibaba, and some of you guys had a, a hard time with um, how to order... Um, the time frame for the ordering, things of that nature. So be advised that this list that I'm going to give you will be about four or five uh, U.S.-based vendors. They are going to be a little bit more expensive because they are U.S.-based, but you're going to get them within a week's time. Um, but nonetheless, they are still really good prices um, for resale value or resale purposes. So when you incorporate that, you are still going to be making a really, really good profit um, with those. So I will leave those, each one of those vendors that I'm going to leave, I have personally bought blanks from them. I've had no issues, no complaints. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I stand behind them and they're really, really good vendors. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I have to go ahead and make the third one where we're going to focus on the tumblers and more of the taller items that may not necessarily uh, be as the, the width um, as these. So we're going to just see if we can get a hat done for that. And then um, I'll go ahead and have the Canon video uploaded for you guys as well as far as converting a Canon a printer into a sublimation printer. So as always, you guys, I thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next video and please hit that notification bell. Any questions, leave them below and everything will be in the description box. Thank you guys. Bye.